Hi everyone! In today's video, we will be learning how to make this elegant cording details in our beautiful dresses, whether kente, bridal gowns, whatever. Just get the idea. So these were the cords I used. This is the cord. This is the type of cord I use. Kindly do take a screenshot of it so that you get to know it. And I also use this. It is also known as like um like a TV wire is known as tv wire here in ghana i don't know like the real name for this but this is how this is what it's called you know tv wire it needed some structure so i had to use something that was hard and small and this is me cutting the cover in bias right it should be diagonal it shouldn't be straight it shouldn't be in gradient it should it should be in diagonal it should be slanted like this so that it will be able to form around the bias i mean form around the courts to achieve what we want to achieve it should it has it is a must to be cut in bias and this is how bias cuts are and i cut them actually act i cut them in one inch you can make it 1.5 depending on the type of cord you are using or how big the cord is right that is what would determine the inches you're going to be making them Okay, so I used one inch. I hope you really do take a look at how it has been slanted to achieve it in bias. Right, so this is how I did it. And yes, if this is your first time coming to my channel, I hope you're enjoying this video and I hope you are learning something great today. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. It's been a pretty long time since I did audio recording, like explaining this like this yes it's been quite some time but i just wanted to come up and then explain this one so that you can really do understand this and if you are an old subscriber i would love to thank you guys my new subscribers my old subscribers my new viewers my old viewers thank you guys so very much for always being here to support this channel i really do appreciate it don't forget to watch these adverts that pops up because it does help the channel and yes, admissions are open. We have online courses. We have in-person classes available. You can just send me a message on the WhatsApp. The link will be in the description so that we can start from there. So here in this section, I was almost done with the bias cutting that I was doing, right? This is it. This is the bias cutting. It is not in straight lines. It is not in gradient this is how it was positionally drawn and it is how it is going to cut out when you cut things in bias it gives it this flexibility for it to stretch out so you can actually manipulate it to get whatever you would love to get when things are in bias because of because of the stretch nature that comes in bias that is the best way for you to cut it so i would advise you cut them in bias but if you're working around like a stretchy fabric since so it stretches already you can or you may cut it but if you just don't want to go through that stress even if you're working around stretchy fabrics like maybe crepe or maybe paradise i mean i would advise you still go in for the bias just so that you just don't risk more fabric by cutting it straight and then realizing that it's really not gonna work so you have to actually get that in bias right so this is how it was looking after it was cut out. Yes, this is how it looked after it was cut out. And then I moved to the machine. I added the wrong size together, sewed it together. As you can see here, here in the section, I'm actually sewing it together at the wrong size so that it can be turned to the right side for the cords to pass through, right? If you're enjoying this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're loving this video do not forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you will be alerted any time i post a new video and yes at least one video comes up every week so don't forget to turn it on yeah so here in this section i use my hoop turner as you can see, peeping it through it. Get it firmed up like that. So I use the hoop turner to actually turn out the bias. So here in this section, I was turning up the bias so that the right side can 
be seen outside i did a little bit of some cutting around the tv cord so that i can just pass it through the bias and here i needed it to have a bit of a structure that was the reason why i used the tv cord that is the reason why i used it it has this metallic wire in it and it made it super malleable so you could just turn it to face whatever pattern or face any direction you wanted it that was the reason why i used that tv cord for the upper section because of how malleable it was and how firm it was at the same time because of the metal that was inside the wire it made it firm and it made it extremely malleable yeah so you could just coil it up to get whatever direction or whatever design you wanted to get so that is you that is you seeing me doing this here in this section right so here i was trying to get it a little bit curled up to face each other so i did a bit of coil it up to get at least the inches that would need to achieve what i had to achieve and these ones i'm not giving you exact inches of it then because every individual or whatever projects you're working on are different some might be longer some might be shorter some might be in between so depending on the length that you prefer then you go in for that for it you don't necessarily have to use the inches that i'm using here the person that i was working here on this kente was not pretty much of a class size he was just a very slim person okay so that cost chest right the chest would be smaller compared to someone who might be a plus size okay so that's the reason why i'm not working around inches like the length in that order right so here in this section i called it up to meet up with the first section the first one that had been done and yes i pinned it down pinned it together to make it very very easy for me to do the sewing and yes i actually did a sewing by hand it would be shown here so kindly do take a look at how it's going on i hope you are enjoying this video don't forget to give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so here because of how malleable the tv wire was i was trying to get some kind of pattern that i wanted to achieve in this section and here i tried making another layer from the tv wire it was so difficult to achieve so i used the cord so this is a section where i was sewing the tv wire together like this is a section i was sewing the crowd up section together right if you can see me yes i use the same fabric thread so that it wouldn't be visible yeah it is a must when you're working around orange dresses or using orange something you make sure that you use a thread that cannot be quite visible you can use like black on orange like it would be so obvious that you used that has been sewn so you try to give that perception that it has not been sewn giving this that neat outstanding look yes yeah, so that is what you see me doing here i hand sewn all the quarrels together to achieve it as you can see in this section so i was hand sewing it together that is the same way that i did with this section as well so this one i wanted it to be a bit of a design in it and then yes this is how the whole project was looking like after everything was done it was the only the first section was the one that i used the tv for the other one i used the cord for so that i could achieve that malleable and that soft touches and i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give the thumbs up do not forget to subscribe and watch the next video thank you